we must never stop criticizing injustices anywhere in the world, whether it's in China, whether it's in Canada, whether it's anywhere in the world. If we don't do that, then society will collapse. Because what keeps the human society alive is freedom, is peace, is compassion, is understanding. The most important example of that, China should not block free press, the media. But if China says, no, they're not happening, then what are they hiding? Why don't they let those of us that would like to go there and verify this, or at least the media? 近期，英国独立人民法庭判决，中共一直从法轮功学员等良心犯身上强摘器官证据确凿。迪尼诺表示，国际社会应立即采取行动制止。This is one of the most atrocious、uh, acts against humanity to to take parts of one's body for whatever reason without permission. Eli Wiesel said, "If you see an injustice taking place." And you do nothing. You're as guilty as the perpetrators. And I certainly, in the strongest possible terms, all governments around the world need to stand up and criticize, notwithstanding the commercial relationship with China. 将器官旅游定为犯罪的 S 二四零法案在加拿大国会众议院全体通过，在参议院也获得了一致赞成。但程序未能在国会休会前完成。迪尼诺预测，联邦大选后，法案将很快在国会通过，成为立法。Because of the study, because of the discussions, because of the debates that have taken place already, I suspect it will take weeks and not months. 对于美国率先对人权及宗教迫害者拒发签证，迪尼诺说，加拿大也应该用马格尼斯基法案禁止这些人进入加拿大。新华记者朱峰，加拿大多伦多报道。